Daniel chapter 7, verse 15. <clears throat> I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit. That's not the Holy Spirit. That's, that's man's spirit. He was upset inside. In the midst of my body, this dream, the interpretation, everything about it, caused Daniel to grieve and you ever had anything in your life? I mean, you just felt it all over. And the visions of my head troubled me. What on earth are these, these animals in, including that fourth one? I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me. He made me know the interpretation of the thing. These great beasts, chapter 7, which are four, are four kings. And I'm telling you, if that leopard is America in the future, You're going to get a lot of Americans upset if we go to a king. Because we want to defile everything of England. We left England because we didn't want to be taxed on tea. And they'll tax you on everything today. Which shall rise out of the earth. And it's only because the Bible says out from the sea, the great sea. But the saints. Now, this I, one man I know, there are no Christians in the Old Testament. So that saint there, unlike the Catholic Church, has nothing to do with the Pope. Because there are no Popes. We are on the other side of Calvary. This saint here are Hebrew, Jewish, the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Of the Most High, that's God, Jehovah, shall take the kingdom and possess it. The kingdom forever and even forever and ever, there's the Lord Jesus Christ, the Most High. The Jewish people are going to go into millennium, and they're going to conquer the nation. These beasts, the four beasts, will be there when the Lord Jesus Christ comes. They're going to take the kingdom from the fourth one, the Antichrist, and it will be the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords in Jerusalem. And it's all going to be about the Jews. The Gentiles are there because they helped the Jews in the tribulation period. The, the saints that are on this side of Calvary, the Christians, the born-again Christian, are there because of the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world, a Jew. It's all Jew-centered. Kind of hard if you're KKK. Kind of hard if you're Nazi. Or any organization, any church, anything that mocks, hates, ridicules, the Jews, the people that God said, I will bless them that bless you, and I will curse them that curse you. I'd be careful even the jokes you tell about the Jews. We are now again, and this chapter takes us from the, the second advent to Gentile nation, then it'll take us to the, to the great white throne judgment, then it'll take us to the second advent, then it'll take us to you know the millennium. 
18666. Because 18, 6 plus 6 plus 6 is the millennial kingdom of Jesus Christ and the Jew. All right. Now we're in the millennial kingdom. 18. Now we're going to go backwards again. And we're going to talk about that fourth beast. And the thing is, the Bible says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. You, one of the right things you got to rightly divide is, is what I'm reading out of order. You know, a lot of times in the Bible, time is very important. You got to have, you got to know the order, orderly fashion. One of the things you find in the Bible that a woman will become pregnant and then she gives birth. A friend, a woman doesn't get pregnant and then give birth. There, there's, there's approximately nine months, usually a period or comma or another verse, sometimes even another chapter. So one of the problems people have with the Bible is time, timing. Periods and commas and colon could represent years. A period, a comma, a colon could represent, all right, here's the first advent, and here's the second advent. And what makes the Jews today all out of whack, and your Bible scholars all out of whack, and, and you don't see the church age. Though there are some out there, you know, they'll put in the old, well, there's the Christians. No, you got to be careful. Church age is not always revealed. Sometimes the church age is a comma. I would know the truth of the fourth beast, which is diverse. It means he's different. When you come out of the leopard, whoever the leopard is, America, whoever, the integrated animal, when you come out, everybody get together, everybody, we're all the same. Then up shows the fourth beast, and uh-uh, not me. Now, he's going to say something like, I don't know what he's going to say, but he's going to say something like this. You guys had the wrong mistake. Jesus Christ, that was the devil. I, I'm Judas. I'm the one. Check the scripture. Did I not heal people? Did I not go out and minister? Was I not called the friend of Jesus? Wasn't there something in there about being a friend of God? <laughs> From all others. Exceedingly dreadful. I'd be troubled in my sleep too. Whose teeth were of iron. Iron. Iron is the legs of Nebuchadnezzar's image of Rome. The east and the west, and that the iron and the mixed we clay into the ten toes. And we've talked about the ten horns. It all ties in together in the book of Revelation. They say, Oh, the iron curtain came down, we took it down, it's coming back up. And his nails. Oh, we're going back to that to the toes, but we're on the nails of brass. Brass in the Bible is judgment. Iron is a particular metal. It's a weird kind of metal. We can get into the weirdness, but we won't do that tonight. When we talk about iron men, the female. The, the, the iron male who lacks iron and needs to take an iron supplement because she bleeds. When she gives birth to a baby, she's unclean. Whether it be a, a, a bouncing baby boy or a bouncing baby girl. Leviticus 12. Which devoured, <laughs> ate up. Got rid of, trashed, break in pieces. 
So he didn't eat you. He didn't destroy you. He broke you in pieces. Now, me, meanwhile, while this Antichrist is doing what he's doing, you know, he comes in with peace, the first horse. Then he comes in with war. Then he comes in with famine. He comes in death. Now, don't don't forget with the book of Revelation, tied to Daniel, God's coming in with earthquakes and hail and, and these creatures. The Antichrist is devouring and breaking, and God is judging and judging and judging. And stamps the residue. What's ever left of being devoured and broken, he's going to stamp it with his feet. And then feet, in Revelation chapter 13, we saw, is the bear. The mouth of a lion. We have the, look, look at Revelation 13. Revelation 13, I think it's 13. Hope it's 13. 13. I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. Upon the horns, ten crowns, and the heads, the name of blasphemy. Now we've already heard the king. Their king. The beast which I saw was like a leopard. Now the beasts we see, they're all together. And his feet was the feet of a bear being stomped, remember? And the mouth of the mouth of the lion, speaking English, of all people. And the dragon gave him power. The devil gives him power. Daniel 7. This worldwide ruler is going to be for damnation. Destru Listen, Satan never loves anything. And of the ten horns that were in his head, we read that in Revelation 13, and of the other which came up, and before whom three fell, even of the horn of that had eyes, that's the Antichrist, and the mouth that spake great things, in English, the mouth of a lion, whose look was more stout, and that's fierce, proud, and brave. The next worldwide leader is going to be proud. And I believe Joe says he's the king of all the children of Christ. There's that king. You know the animal they call a crocodile, the hippopotamus, the elephant, the alligator. That's some alligator, buddy. I can see an alligator out there in Florida. He's like he's laying out there. He's puffing on the sand. What's up? Job says that you do battle with him, and you you don't do it again. I see. I've seen pictures, and I know people have gone to alligator farms and all that, and they wrestle the alligator. You gotta get right in the Bible, because if you don't understand Job, you don't understand Daniel. And if you don't want, if you don't want to understand Daniel, you ain't gonna get Job. You ain't gonna get the Book of Revelation. I know a man's got it all messed up. He's he's got Jesus Christ coming back with his own blood on his garments, and everybody everybody throughout the whole Bible are Christians when they were first called Christians in Antioch. I don't know if there's an Antioch here, but. So the Antichrist has eyes. I believe in the book of Revelation about God. I believe there was a spirit there, there was something that had eyes. Everything that Satan is, is an imitation of what God and Jesus Christ is. He would even have you to think he is God. That's what religion does. I've seen an angel. Well, Paul tells us to the Corinthian church, chapter 11. 
His appearance is appearance of angel of light. He's not an angel. He's a cherubim. Ezekiel 28. He shows up. He's an angel with light, but he's not uh, with wings. He's not an angel because wi angels don't have wings. But, you know, even the Baptist church doesn't even know that. Whose look was more stout. Again, he's brave. He's fierce. He's proud. Look at 11.36. Daniel 11.36. We'll stop when we stop, and we'll go when we go. I'm not in no rush. We'll get back in a rush when we get to Hosea. And I know I may be giving you stake, and because of your church, because of where you are in the Lord, because of the, the Baptist churches today, it, you may be choking, because you may be still carnal on milk. You may be a newborn Christian, you're on milk, and this is doctrine. This is doctrine even pastor of churches don't even believe and don't want to believe. And they'll call me foolish and they'll call me weird. Uh, when I get to heaven, God will say, well done. Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you teach that? Why didn't you listen to him about SR? And Tamu. You know how many people of your congregation are going to lose reward because you liked it? What was Paul's word to the church? Have I become your enemy because I told you? I know what that verse is. So in chapter 11, verse 36, and the king shall do according to this will, this is the Antichrist. <clears throat> He shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every God. He's going to be better than Esther. He's going to be better than Tammuz. Why? Because he was around when Esther was around. He was around when Tammuz was around. He knew Nimrod. He was there when the first man and woman holy matrimony before God he was there <laughs> Satan has been dealing with man for 6,000 years Satan knows all the gods all the gods of the Hindu all the gods of India all the gods of all the gods and Antichrist is going to step up and prize it me And shall speak marvelous things against the God of God. Well, you got the God of God, the King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Look at that mouth. Look at that lion's mouth of Satan. And he's not afraid to speak. Listen, he walked right up to Jesus. All right, if, if thou be Jesus, if thou be Christ the Lord, do me a miracle. Come on. You know what Job did when, when he had the presence with the voice of God? He got down on his knees and said, oh, Lord, God, forgive me. My mouth will ran off. You know, in God's voice, he spoke to the three friends of Job. You know what they did? They went and got their sacrifices like God told them to. You know what the devil did when he came to the Oh, you can't make bread. You're going to quote scripture at me? All right, come with me now. Call upon the angel and quote his scripture right back to him. But he didn't quote it all. Don't expect the devil to quote all the scripture. You know they, the devil's favorite word for Christian today? I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. All right, go on top of the Empire State, State Building, jump off it, and say, with God, I can fly. You know, the, you know what the devil does? You know what the Christians do? You know what the Baptists do? They take it out of context. He shall prosper till the nation is accomplished. This is the tribulation period. For that 
is determined shall be done. God already knows what's going to happen and he allows it to happen. And he's got Satan in the web. We're wide web. Chapter 8. Chapter 8, verse 23. You know what I feared about Donald Trump? The guy had great pride. Even I have pride. Pride is a sin. I, I hear preachers out of the pulpit, I am proud of my children, I am proud of my deacons. I, pride is a sin. God never has pride. He says, well done. This is my well-beloved son who I'm well pleased. He didn't say I'm proud of Jesus. I'm proud to be American. All right, you're satanic. Well, you just don't know the scriptures. Verse 23. In the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce, got that? Continence is expression. Understanding dark sentences shall stand up. His power shall be mighty. So you see, look, look. but not by his own power. He shall destroy wonderfully. He shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people in the, in the Bible. That is the Jews. We'll come up to that soon. Back to seven. We're, we're, we're in the realm of the Antichrist in the book in Daniel. And I beheld verse twenty one of chapter seven, and the same horn we we've been talking about the Antichrist made war. With the saints, the Jewish people. There's more war coming. You ain't going to stop them. The Antichrist is going to turn the world against the Israelites, the Jewish, the Hebrews. And when this war comes up against them, the world's going to cheer on the Antichrist. Yeah, let's get rid of the Jews. There's going to be some that are going to help them. You realize those Jew, those um, excuse me, those Gentiles that help the Jews are an enemy of the Antichrist himself. How dare you help them? In so much that God says, "All right, here is your realm to come into the millennium." But a salvation of works, and they didn't even know what they were doing, and prevailed against them. Look at that. The Antichrist is going to fight the Hebrews, the 144,000, Moses and Elijah, and he's going to win. Until the Ancient of Days come. And, uh, it's not God, well, that's God, but I'm talking about the, the, the Godhead. Who's the one that mounts up and gets on the horse with, with the armies behind him? Joel chapter 2. Revelation chapter 19, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. His name is the Word. He's the Lord, of the King of the King, and the Lord of Lords. The, the Antichrist is going to be prospering and prospering and prospering with all the judgments, the seals, the trumpets, the woes, and the vials. And they all end with no sun, no moon, no lights, no stars. And the prevail end of the Antichrist until the ancient of days come, the second advent. Second advent. Look at where I am in my Bible. And judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. Jesus is judging the second advent. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Millennium. 
But the judgment looks like the great white throne judgment. Where Paul says to the Christians, know ye not, we shall judge angels. And that if that is the great white throne judgment, that saints that possess the kingdom, I believe the Jews get the new earth. And they'll get it forever. Thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom. So each of those beasts are a kingdom. But we also read, the type right here, and verse 17, these great beasts which are four, are four kings. He'll explain it. These beasts are kingdoms and kings. What do you call Great Britain? The United Kingdom. Which shall be diverse, different from all kingdoms. Now I realize when we're talking about these kingdoms, we're talking about the Red Dragon of uh, Revelation 13, China worships the red dragon. China's in a pickle right now. The Americans are telling, don't you dare get involved. And Russia's saying, come help us. It should devour the Middle East, leaving us alone to complain about gas prices. It's not what it says. It says devour the whole earth. And shall tread it down, that's twice, and break it in pieces. We just read that. He does it with war. And the ten horns out of his kingdom. So in the kingdom of the Antichrist, there's going to be ten kings, the ten horns, and they got crowns. Now thank God that you don't need to worry about as, as a Christian, because when, when that, we'll, we'll be in heaven, we'll be enraptured by this happening. We don't need to figure out who the ten kings are. I think right now we just have enough problem with the griffin, the, the, the bear, and the leopard. And I think after that, by the time this next beast shows up, I believe we're out of here. We're gone. I mean, you got Christians today. Oh, don't, take the, don't take the shot because it's got 666. Ain't going to do me no problem. I've had all the vaccines. If... The mark of the beast is in that vaccine. The day I'm raptured, it stays, I go. Now you're going to find the last place I was, or you'll find me in a coffin or whatever they do with my dead body. That will do the Antichrist no well. As he will go into your church buildings and have everybody get into your Baptist church buildings and your Catholic church buildings and your kingdom halls and come, come to the religious centers to get your mark. Come to the Jehovah Witness if you're going to have it put in your hand. Come to the Baptist church building if you're going to have it put in your forehead. Come to the Catholic church if you're going to have it put on you with a black margin marker mark on your forehead and you're going to eat the body and blood of Jesus Christ. You realize your church building doesn't go in the rapture. It'll be left behind for the Antichrist to enjoy. Keep cutting the grass. Keep fixing everything for that building. Because there's no church building in the Bible they met from house to house. That's where I stand. I had a house church. And many people, a couple of people coming, they were offended. Oh, you know, oh, even the city was offended. He devoured the whole earth. 
and shall tread it down, break it in pieces. And the ten horns out of the kingdom are ten kings. They shall arise. And another shall rise after them, the ten kings. And he, that one that comes up, shall be diverse from the first. And he shall subdue three kings of Orient Point. Gathering gifts, we come so far. I'm oh, sorry. The Antichrist is going to battle his own kings. I'm glad I'm not here. Because while all this is going on, I've already said God's got his judgment. The vials, the woes, the seals, and the trumpets. And you got the Antichrist fighting his kings, and you got the Antichrist devouring, breaking, and stomping on the world while all this is happening. And the, I don't mean ha ha, but the funny thing about it is all the world, according to Revelation, they're worshiping him. And you say, well, how can that be? How can you have a woman? Love a man, and all he does is torment her and beat her and the children and, and just misuse him and uses the money instead of the welfare of the family, but for his own purposes. How can that happen? And that's a perfect illustration of what the Antichrist is going to be. Because a lot of times she can't get a job, she has no money, she needs to be taken care of. And the Antichrist does with that, show me your hand or show me your forehead. Because you can't go get health care if you don't have the Antichrist. Don't you dare walk in the grocery store if you don't have that mark. He shall speak great words against the Most High. He's going to come on this earth, and while he's on this earth, he, he uh, got over there. GD on him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Every time you guys smack your wrist, you name the name of Jesus Christ. Now, you know the Jews can't follow this guy because, well, he'll be preaching against God and Jehovah and, and Jesus, which is God. They got a commandment. <laughs> Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. Well, guess it. Now, now, don't you realize now when he when you open up that veil and he's sitting on the mercy seat on the temple that's not there yet, and he curses God, Jehovah. That Jew is going to put his hand to his mouth and Jesus says, you better get on that airplane and you better pray it's not on the Sabbath because the law is coming back. I had a Baptist free, oh, you give it to yourself. And you, woe be to the women that give suck, woe to the women that, that are, well, why is that? Because when it becomes time to get to deliver, you can't go to the hospital, you don't have to mark. And when you need that formula... <laughs> Because that woman's body is not going to have enough food, enough nourishment to produce milk for her baby. So she's going to, in order to get that formula. There will be women that will sell themselves out to the Antichrist. So they're children. Alright. He shall wear out the saints of the Most High. The Jews. Moses and Elijah, the 144,000. He kills Moses and Elijah, and they have Christmas. They do? Yeah, go read it. Book of Revelation, find it yourself. He thinks it's a change times and laws, a complete lawlessness. Why defund the police? Man, you are in the category of Satan. And I know they're changing, but I think you got to spring ahead in the in the spring, and you got to fall back in the fall. Change the times. Maybe you'll change your 40 hour work week.
He's going to mess with the calendar. Uh, we are right. We don't have the Hebrew Jehovah calendar. We have the Pope on the road calendar. What's the Pope on the road? Put him on the gallows. There have been there have been wicked men in the Bible have been put in the gallows. Don't you throw anything at me. And they shall be given into his hand. Who? The world, the Hebrews. Unto a time, the times, and the dividing time. All right, take that time one. <clears throat> times, that's two. And the dividing time, that's three and a half years. That's the great tribulation. After the first three and a half years, the last three and a half years. There it is, Daniel 7.25. Three and a half years. Tribulation period is seven years long. That last half. Three but the judgment shall sit. And they shall take away his dominion. That's the great white throne judgment. Because during the millennium, Satan is tied up, chained for a thousand years. And then he's loose. Then he's put to hell, the lake of fire. To consume and to destroy it unto the end. And the end there is when the earth melts with a fervent heat. And the kingdom and dominion, the greatness of the kingdom, under the whole heaven, shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, Jews, Hebrews, Israel, Millennium, whose kingdom is the everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. That's Jesus. The one who conquers the Antichrist, the devil. Hidden to is the end of the matter. And as for me, Daniel, my con my conscience, yeah, that's your thoughts and ideas, what you're thinking about, much troubled me. So, he was grieved in the spirit of what he's seen. Now that he's gotten the revelation, oh man. It'd be like John being transported to the future. And when he saw the great woman, the beast, I forget, he like marveled or it gave him great awe of the there is nobody is worse. There has been nobody as terrible as living in the earth until I saw that. That's horrible. Oh. John be like, can I go back to when we're living? Can I go back to Nero? Because Nero don't complain don't compare to what I just seen. Think about Daniel. He has seen his people take captive. He has heard about the temple being destroyed. He's heard about Jerusalem and Judah burning on fire. People dying, death. And he's a dream like. And didn't he just pray a long prayer for his people, about his people, to his people, to the Holy God? And God says, well, let me show you what's going to happen to your people. <laughs> My countenance changed. The facial expression. <laughs> but I kept the matter in my heart. He didn't write it down yet. I want to read some things. Like the book of Daniel. By Larkin. Interesting things here. Um, and he says the four beasts represent four kings. The saints of the Most High are not the saints of the church. For the saints of the church are called out before the little horn makes war with the saints. Verse 21. The Jews. They shall be the head in the millennium. He 
He will think to change all Jewish times and laws. Genesis, Exodus, well, actually, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. He might call them holy days, holidays, Esther, Tammuz, Eros days, the waking of the dead. He might have hit Bungyan the work already. And guess who are doing it? The Baptist Catholic churches. And when I say Baptist Catholic, I mean that Baptist church that acts like a Catholic. I ain't talking about two different churches. The fourth beast with the iron matches the iron of the legs of the image. The ten horns correspond with the ten toes. Rome. The book of Revelation gives us in chapters 6 to 19 the details of what happened in during Daniel 70 week, a period covered by the toes of the image. The ten horns. And then you realize that Daniel saw a beast and John saw a beast. We read about John's beast in Revelation 13. That all the animals in one. Now when we just did Daniel's fourth beast, we don't even know what kind of animal we close the chapter, we still don't know what kind of animal, like the book of Job, the behemoth. I'm trying to think of the other name. Uh, there's another name, the behemoth, and uh, I can't think of the name right now. But the Hebrew word is animals. And it keeps on coming to the tip of my tongue, but there's the behemoth. Now, what we read so far, we got time. One minute. Revelation. And I think it's. Revelation 6, the number of man. Verse 1. And I saw the Lamb open one of the seals. These are the seals. Here it comes. I heard, as it were, a noise of thunder. Now, it's not the rapture, because the rapture already happened. One of the four beasts. One of how many beasts? Come on, people. How many beasts? Why does it say one of the four cherubims? Because you couldn't get the cross reference in Daniel then. You know those beasts were a lion, a man, an eagle, and an ox. The dragon was cast out. Come and see. I like the fourth beast when you, when you hear the audio. Come and see. Like a Walt Disney guy on helium. I saw and behold a white horse. Oh, you know, you, you, you know what many Christians and churches say? That's Jesus. Well, let's look at it. He sat on him, had a bow, military strength, and a crown. Where's the arrow? He has no arrow. And a crown was given to him. Jesus, Revelation 19, has crowns. This man has a crown. <clears throat> Did you read somewhere about heads and horns and crowns? No, you didn't. He went out for conquering and conquering. How does he do it? He does it by peace. So the point the Antichrist comes is there will be wars and conflicts. Antichrist is going to, he's going to solve them all. He's going to be the world's answer. He's going to save the whales for dessert. And when he opened the second seal, I heard a second beast say, Come and see. 
And there went out another horse that was red. Red square. Red square. And power. Power. Was given to him that sat there and to take peace from the earth. So you see we had peace. Now this one comes in. And steals the peace. With war. That they should kill one another. There was given to him a great sword. So here comes a, a world war. And when he opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And behold, a black horse. He that sat on him had a pail of balances in his hand. And I heard the voice of the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of gasoline for a penny. And three measures of toilet paper for a penny. See thou not hurt the Americans. That's not what it says. Does it? You're worried about your gas prices? That, that, that's the tip of the iceberg if you're not saved today. And the Lord comes. Because you're going to have famine. You're going to have a depression. You're going to want to eat. Gasoline will be in the very back of your mind. While you're in war, verse 5. While that man on the horse, verse 4, is ruling the whole entire world. He's brought peace. Now he's giving you war. Now he, he's not going to give you food. And then you've got to get a mark. When he had opened the fourth seal, I heard a voice of the fourth beast, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was Death and Hell. That would be a great name for the fourth beast of Daniel. Followed him. And power was given unto him over the fourth part of the earth. <clears throat> To kill with the sword, war, with hunger, famine, with death, death itself, and with the beast, the animals too. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw on the altar the souls of them that had been slain for the word of God, the saints. And the saints here are the Hebrews and Israelis again. There's no church. We are gone. That's what your worldwide leader is going to give you. That's what Daniel talks about. And it's only going to get even worse and more worse. Now the Antichrist is going to be a blasphemer. He's going to be into persecution. And he's going to be, his kingdom's going to be lawlessness. Anarchy, West Coast, defund the police, BLM, ALM, ASS. How about open the prisons and let them go as we can't afford them no more? How about the criminal has the rights and the, and the victim has no rights? Well, we got to throw out of court because you didn't read him his rights. Friend, what's going on in 2021 and 2022 is only a tip of the iceberg. What's going to happen when the Antichrist comes. And your gasoline prices... And taking of the shots and, and the COVID and it's a little poodle compared to the fourth beast that's coming that will eat your poodle. 